Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this episode here is another um, Bitcoin trade episode here. And um, where I left off was uh, how, um, I guess, you're wondering how you can make money on this. And um, for for that, and me, you have to probably have to start from the beginning here. So, um, let me go back to a, a larger 12 hour graph here. And so, I guess the uh, the simple way, the most common way, I guess what, what most people would think about when they think about Bitcoin is traded as a currency or as a commodity. And uh, that's probably the one way. And that's probably the most ways people um, will try to make money. And so, um, but in order to do that, you have to get, you have to buy Bitcoin. And so, um, back here, around this time frame around here, that's when I purchased my very first Bitcoin. And um, I did it in a person-to-person. -person. So, uh, I didn't have an account at the exchange at the time, or I opened the account, and turns out I need to, you need to, um, send over, you know, um, some kind of identification and um, a copy of like a utility bill of your address that matches your your identification as well. Uh, that's very common. Um, I had to do that when I opened my uh, Forex account. Uh, I definitely have to do that when you open your brokerage account. So uh, doing that with your with an exchange is not a big deal. Um, if you're a criminal, then that might be a problem um, because most of these uh, exchanges uh, will comply with, uh, you know, any anti-money laundering um, laws. So, but if you're if you're in it for the trade, and uh, then it shouldn't be a problem. So, um, anyways, I I did open an account but it turns out you have to get send that information and it takes a while for veri verification so um, but it doesn't require having a wallet doesn't require any verification so um, you know there's many wallets out there uh, the offline wallet that I have is called multi-bit you could probably look that up um, but you know there's there's a bunch of online free ones so it doesn't really matter but if you wanted the quickest way, um, relatively quick compared to opening a, a new account at an exchange, um, is to just open up um, a wallet and you'll get your address key and find a person who has Bitcoin and offer to buy them. And if they accept, they will send you uh, with, you know, give them the address key they will, with that address key, they will send you whatever you buy in bitcoins. If you buy one, you, they'll send you one bitcoin. And that's uh, relatively the quickest way to get one. Um, so that's what I did. And I used uh, localbitcoins.com, I believe. Localbitcoins.com. And that's, you know, I've just placed an ad. Um, put in the information that I wanted, the pricing that I wanted, and um, someone contacted me through the local bitcoins. Um, so that's kind of how I got started, just to give you an update. So, But once you get set up, um, you can start trading. And so this is probably uh, how a majority of people are, are making money, okay? Um, if, if you're fortunate enough to actually find someone who can supply you with a lot of bitcoins um, like similar to what I'm doing now um, you know you don't have to um, I guess pay a commission or the commission fees it's it's sometimes easier to work with a person than it is with um, an exchange uh, because you can cut out some of the some of the cost of 
um, buying and selling at the exchanges if you bought directly from the person. Um, and then, you know, you can, you know, either resell it or um, load it up to an exchange as far as a Bitcoin and then um, sell your Bitcoin for U.S. dollars. And interesting enough, um, it's all in an electronic format. So Bitcoin being in a, a digital currency will stay a digital currency. Um, the money that you gave to the person for the Bitcoin, well, that person's got it. And then when you cash out, you don't, you know, you electronically cash out at the uh, at the exchanges. Um, you know, but you don't physically cash out. So what you see is um, uh, like a, a dollar sign that says how much money you've converted your Bitcoin into US dollars and then on the other side or somewhere you'll have one that says you know how many Bitcoins you have and uh, at that point you're gonna be trading um, if you if you're like me I'm, I'm trading for Bitcoins and um, that's kinda how I'm quote unquote making money. I'm not really making money. I'm I'm just trying to uh, make trades where I can get more Bitcoin. So basically when the prices are up, I sell my Bitcoin through the exchange electronically and get an electronic US dollar figure. And then when the price drops, I'm able to buy more Bitcoins for the uh, US dollar I have. And so I buy them and then Ideally, you know, this is kind of how some trading skills, reading charts, come into come into play. And this is speculation for the most part, but but it's also a good way to have a price discovery for for bitcoins. So um, so that's kind of how one way you can make money. Um, obviously, when you're in an uptrend, you um, you know you want to buy. So let's say. Uh, instead of purchasing and this is kinda a good way to do this um, if you can purchase from a, a person sometimes um, you know they'll they'll be okay with and this is where you can negotiate pricing if you if you go to lo local bitcoins com you'll you'll see all the different pricing there's no one it's not like an exchange where you see one price and then another. It just varies all over the place. Some are extremely high and some are extremely low. Well, I take the back. Some are not extremely low. Well, um, I guess what people are selling for or, or buying for is, could be extremely low. And what people are trying to sell for it could be extremely high. But anyways, you'll see it's all over the place. So you can negotiate. And what you really want to do is you want to um, kind of like... Me personally, I like Mt. Gox just because it, it just seems to have a lot more uh, volume, you know, information market. They call this market depth, so you can see all the, you know, where, where the buy orders and sell orders are. It just seems to be a, a lot compared to if I go to, um, now this is a bit stamp, and if you notice, I go to bit stamp, the market depth here is uh, not lot you know and same with with uh, bit C it's not a lot either but and then we'll, we'll just check out China the China exchange uh, bit China BTC China and yeah not a lot so um, so that's kind of the difference uh, slightly and also again the price is um, higher at Mt. Cox so um, one of the things you can do is you can negotiate to buy at a lower price a lower price than Mt. Cox and then take the Bitcoin and then start trading and then you'll have a slight advantage because uh, you bought at a lower price all right off the bat and if you want to sell it immediately you can um, or I mean, it, it just kind of gives you a little head start. Um, so that's that's um, you know good for you guys, and that's kind of the reason why I 
I have an account at Mount, Mount Gox. Um, but, you know, like I said, you never know. Um, things, when things get wild, they, they, I've seen the, the prices on the Visa in, in index completely in, invert. Um, so, so that's um, probably the most common way you can make money. And, uh, like I said, on, on the, so as it's going up, you probably just want to buy from someone at a lower price and just go ahead and just um, hold on to it or, or, you know, load it up to your exchange account so you can make the order for a sell and buy. Because if you wait and then you, you, you see the price peaking and you say, oh, I want to I wanna sell my bitcoins, and you and you try to you know transfer your bitcoins from your wallet to the exchange. It'll take anywhere from 15 to maybe half an hour, uh, depending how much you got and and how long it'll take. So it may even take an hour because uh, although it may have the transfer may have gone through, and the confirmations are all there. Um, somebody at Mount Gox has has you know probably has to sign off or approve. That the confirmations have con gone through, or it, maybe it's a, the way it's processed through the computer, but it'll take some time to actually show up on your account ready to be traded. So, um, you know, uh, if security is an issue, um, I always I always have, you know, money at Mount Mount Gox because uh, that's you know that's what I trade with. That's you know I'm not out here to cash out on US dollars, I'm here to um, take possession of more Bitcoins. So that's that's kind of what I do. So I I always have something to trade with. Not a, lo not a lot, but I, I just trade it and trade it and trade it. Um, and as I um, gain more coins, I take the coins out. That's what I do. Um, so that's kind of a way to, to do it. Um, and then on on the flip side is when you take your coins out, you can actually try to sell it at the highest price. Does it work sometime? Maybe yes, no. But uh, you know the point is that um, you'll probably save a little um, on the fees and whatever they take out for for actually cashing out of the exchange for realizing um, the money in some ways. But uh, so that's that's a way um, that probably most people are are going to be doing these, um, you know, trying to make money, uh, Bitcoin off of Bitcoin by by trading. So, and then when when the price goes down, like you see here, um, again, what you want to do is uh, uh, when it goes up, you just want to just buy, buy, buy. Um, but once it starts going on a downtrend, you you start you you got to trade, you got to sell your bitcoins for money, and that's how you're shorting it because now you're in the game. You know the way you short it is you literally sell your bitcoins, and so these people are really selling their bitcoins here. They're they're uh, closing out a position, and you know they receive whatever money. So that's all real. Um, you want to buy low, write it up high, realize that you got to sell going on a downtrend, and then let it drop. And you just, got, you just have to figure out where the where your buys are going to be. Um, you know, there's there's just many different ways. Uh, you could probably uh, research that. Um, and then, of course, when it goes back onto an uptrend, you just probably want to be just buying and buying and buying and loading the bitcoins into the exchange until you get a good signal that it's it's time to sell so anyways that's that's I guess for some people who trade and already know this this is pretty common sense um, so um, but the important thing is how I told you to how you realize the money uh, because until until you can actually get the fiat currency of US dollars in your hands there's not much you can do with it. Um, you can't go to the grocery store and let them know that you have like ten dollars at your, you know, Mount Gox account. Um, can you write them a an IOU and when I cash out, I'll, I'll pay you back? You can't. I don't think you're gonna get far. So at some point, you know, you're doing this. You 
you kind of want some money to go buy some milk, whatever. So I kind of recommend, um, because it's going to be so much faster this way, and depending on what exchange you go to, um, probably you'll get more money out of it as well. You, for you, for you, is you just withdraw the Bitcoin and um, either I, I recommend using local Bitcoin at the beginning until you are able to develop a relationship with other traders and. After a while, you won't have to, um, you know, do the uh, um, the local bitcoins because now you've got a trusted partner, a counterparty, um, in doing this. And um, once you get to that kind of point, um, the game changes completely. Um, then it starts opening up to other things, other revenue streams um, sort of sort of speaking I guess you call them revenue streams um, if you're trying to make US dollars right um, I just buy more bitcoins that's all I do but uh, once you take possession of course this is so key as I talked about in my last episode um, once you take possession of the bitcoins and now you're able to provide um, it to someone else for for a price and usually you'll base it off the indices. Um, that's when you're able to realize uh, the money without all the fees and the uh, um, whatever charges they they charge you, you know. And then you can use it in, you know. I live in in America, so I'll be wanting U.S. dollars, so I can go to the grocery store and and buy. Um, milk you know so anyways um, I'm gonna wrap this up and um, that's just one way um, eventually when you get to a certain point you can you know I, I trade all the time um, I don't trade like I don't trade a hundred bitcoins or you know 300 bitcoins uh, I trade little bursts amount and the reason why I, I trade smaller amounts is um, that way you know it's it's not my trades aren't noticeable you know um, when I see I'll, and if you observe if you watch this this thing trades 24 hours if you spent one 24 hours there's there's always somebody who's gonna buy a hundred bitcoins and then there's somebody else who's gonna sell a hundred bitcoins I mean um, not that that's unusual, but um, that's a lot of bitcoins, you know, and that's someone paid physical money to get into Bitcoin, so that's that's a lot of trading. Anyways, um, let me wrap this up, and I guess I'll go on to the next episode on um, the other ways that you realize money for those people who want to make money um, like I said what I do is I don't I mean I'll cash out a little bit just to uh, recover uh, my initial principal um, like if I put in a hundred dollars um, and I trade and trade and trade and you know I have you know at that time two hundred dollars worth I'll cash out a hundred dollars and I want my original investment back in the bank and from then on I'm just trading with you know um, basically uh, profited trades um, at that point which uh, I don't really plan on ever really cashing out per se um, I'm just gonna keep doing this till I am uh, able to accumulate enough um, a lot of bitcoins that's my goal but some people want U.S. dollars. I totally understand. I like U.S. dollars too, especially when I want to buy something. So, unfortunately, Bitcoin has not gotten to that point where um, you can go down to the grocery store and, and buy some milk. But hopefully one day it will be. And uh, if it ever does, man, um, I, I'll, I think I'm going to drink milk for free for the rest of my life if I, 
uh, you know, just keep trading like this. So, anyways, uh, I'll next episode. I guess uh, I'll go over some of the ways that you can, um, you know, generate revenue from uh, selling uh, Bitcoin out in in the street. And when I when I say out in the street, I don't mean like you're hanging around a corner on a windy day, um, you know, nodding your head at a every car that drives by. I don't. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when I say the street, I'm talking about Main Street, Wall Street, and um, you know, finding counterparties. And I say counterparties, I mean other people that are willing to buy and sell from you on a on a person-to-person -person basis. Um, that becomes uh, a very interesting, a very intriguing business in itself. Um, there's, you know, you can make money, you can, and I'll, I'll discuss that. And for for people who have never explored that option of of the Bitcoin trade, um, you know, this is kind of easy. I think a lot of people will just do this for the most part because it's something that they're used to stocks commodity, you know, currency, um, you know, Forex, that kind of stuff. So a lot of people will, will probably be doing this until they get comfortable and, and, and truly understand what what they can, the other things you can do with Bitcoin. So, um, well, anyways, uh, next time, uh, talk to you later, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, feel free to comment, like, dislike, even leave a video response.